Hello, and thank you for joining us in another video here at Crypto Gems. I think you can see from the title that today I'm going to be going over how you can use PancakeSwap together with the MetaMask Binance Smart Chain Wallet to earn cake tokens by yield farming. So don't go anywhere because this is going to help you a lot on your cryptocurrency journey. And as always, make sure to check out the description below so you can see all the links that I'm going to be mentioning in the video. This is my opinion and I am not a licensed financial advisor or registered investment advisor. Once you've clicked on the link that I left in the description, it should bring you to this page where you can install the MetaMask. So please note that MetaMask is supported by several browsers. So it's supported by Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge. Personally, I use Chrome most of the time, so I will be using this for the example, but feel free to install it on whichever browser you feel most comfortable with. So we're just gonna go to install MetaMask. And then it's going to bring us to the Chrome extension site to where all we have to do is add the extension. And then it'll just take a while there. Um, we need to accept. So we can see it downloaded it right there. Okay, perfect. So it was just added. Um, so we can go ahead and open now. Okay, so welcome to MetaMask. This is what you're going to see as well. Again, uh, MetaMask is an Ethereum-based website. So um, here it's if you already have a recovery phrase, but if you're watching this tutorial, it's probably your first time. So you would go to set up uh, and create a wallet. And then here it just gives you some general pointers um, that you need to keep in mind for security. So read over those. And then once you have, um, it's going to ask you to create a password, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so then the terms of use, once you do read that and you agree to them, then create. And then it will give you an intro on how you can keep your recovery phrase safe and your wallet in general. MetaMask is a new. I'm gonna skip it for the sake of this tutorial since I will be going over this, but definitely watch it once you're there on the page. And then this part right here, it's very important. So this is your security phrase, and basically it's like your bank account safety pin. So just make sure that you're not going to share this with anyone and also that you don't lose it. So wherever you keep it, that it's going to be safe. It's going to be encrypted if it's um, if you're going to keep it digitally or you can just write it down, uh, you know, in a safe place that you will have physically as well. So this is just a test. So I'll be able to show you the one they gave me. Um, so I'll be able to um, just you know, copy the phrase so I can keep it and or it also lets you download the phrase. Um, so you can have it encrypted in your hard drive. So you can do that as well. And then here it's going to ask you to paste that same phrase. So since I did copy and paste it, I'm just going to go take a look at it so I can do it in the exact same order. So here I have it. And I'm going to make sure that I go word by word. So I confirmed it correctly. So once you do it as well, you'll get this page saying congratulations, you passed the test, so you'll be all done and you'll have your own MetaMask account. And then some updates on Ledger, which I'll be getting into actually later into this video. So we'll open here our Ethereum wallet with MetaMask. And now how do you start using it on PancakeSwap? Obviously this is a test wallet, so I'm gonna have um, zero cryptocurrency at the moment, but you'll be able to see whatever your current cryptocurrency amount is as you start using the wallet. How do we add MetaMask wallet to PancakeSwap? Well, it's actually pretty simple, but there is one step in between. So MetaMask is an Ethereum based wallet. So firstly, we have to link it to Binance. So to do this, Binance actually created an article that helps us out. So I'll be leaving that article in the description below and you'll just scroll down until you see this part, mainnet. And then we go here to MetaMask and where it says Ethereum mainnet, we're gonna go down and you wanna choose custom RPC. So once you open that, 
and you can see that the information they're asking for is going to be given here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste. And once we're done with that, we're just going to go ahead and save. Okay, and now we have there our smart chain added. So now we can go to PancakeSwap and we're going to go connect. And first right there is MetaMask. So they already found it. Um, we can put next, connect. And perfect, that's how you would set it up with PancakeSwap. Just before I continue, yes, MetaMask is a great wallet. It's easy to use. And as you can see, it's already linked with Binance and we linked it with PancakeSwap. But this is good for transactions. Once you're gonna store your hard-earned cryptocurrency, I always recommend in my videos that you should keep it in a hardware wallet. So a private address like Ledger is a great option. So I'm gonna be leaving the link to the Ledger website in the description so that you can go directly to the shop. I also have a video that I'll link in the description to how you can save when buying your own Ledger wallet. Um, it is honestly just a great option because you're working hard to earn your cryptocurrency and you do want it to stay safe. So anyway, back to the tutorial. Now that you have successfully linked MetaMask to both Binance and PancakeSwap, we're gonna go back to Binance to where you can withdraw different cryptocurrency, including from PancakeSwap. So, um, if you haven't created the account yet, you're not sure about Binance, I've made tutorials on the topic below and one specifically on how to withdraw crypto and buy it from Binance. So check that out. I'll be leaving it in the description. You're going to make sure that the coin selected is Bitcoin, for example, and then here in the address, all you need to do is go to the pancake swap and next to your profile, you'll find your wallet address. You have to do is just copy the address and then we're going to paste it right here. And then for network, you're going to make sure to select Binance Smart Chain. In my case, it's the first option. So just make sure you select that one. Then it's going to ask you that if the platform you're using does support Binance Smart Chain. PancakeSwap definitely does. So you can go ahead and put yes, I'm sure. And then just choose the amount that you wish to withdraw. I just want to go back to PancakeSwap because there's so many things you can do here. So it's not a tutorial on PancakeSwap, so I'm not gonna be too extensive on it, but just know that you are able to exchange cryptocurrency directly on here, and you're also able to keep your cryptocurrency in a pool. For example, keep it as cake tokens, which are so popular now. Why? Because there is no specific extension of how long you have to leave them there, and you're gonna be earning on it. So it's kind of like keeping your money in a savings account, let's say, in the with fiat. So just with cryptocurrency in this case. As a quick summary, first you're gonna have to do is go ahead and install the MetaMask plugin. You're gonna go and link that to Binance before coming here to PancakeSwap. But once you do link it to PancakeSwap, you can go directly to Binance and just withdraw there. And these platforms are all great options for when you're doing a different transactions with cryptocurrency. But to keep it safely, remember that it's important that you have a hardware wallet. So again, I will be leaving the description below for the ledger and I'll be leaving the video I did on how to get the best deals when purchasing your hardware wallet because there's nothing better than knowing that your hard earned cryptocurrency is stored safely in a private address. So it is very, very important that you don't skip this step. If you do have any questions that I didn't answer, please leave them in the comments below so that we can answer. And any comments in general, you can leave them too. Make sure to give this video a big like if you found it helpful and subscribe to CryptoGems so that you can keep getting more great content like this one to help you in your cryptocurrency journey. Bye for now.